Pluto, a previous planet that was downsized to a bantam planet, stays a subject of interest and focus in the cosmic community, as demonstrated by recent findings by leading scientists. Pluto's orbit is dangerously close to Neptune's, and astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a potentially hazardous impact between these two planets, which could pose a significant risk to Earth. But how is such an event even possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our solar system. It requires a stunning 248 years to complete a single orbit. Meaning that, since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution yet. The intrigue doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its particularly curved shape, deviating greatly from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more curious is its tilt, set at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows its orbit is far more extreme compared to other planets. This inclination and eccentricity add layers of complexity to its orbital design. One of the most interesting aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection point with Neptune's orbit. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually moves closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying what we might expect based on their positions in the solar system. This leads to the natural question. Why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began not long after its discovery. Initially, astronomers struggled to understand its peculiar path. Unlike other planets, whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stands out with its steep inclination and elongated shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit does indeed cross Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit, amidst these complexities, is evidence of the intricate mechanics of space. The three-body problem in space involves determining how three objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and interact with one another due to their gravity. It's like predicting where they will go based on their starting positions and the way they pull on each other. In Pluto's case, this problem reveals how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all interact in a complex manner. The terms alpha libration and degree relibration, alongside the VZK oscillation, are critical to solving this puzzle, as demonstrated by astrophysicists. What keeps all planets in their orbits is a phenomenon called alpha libration. In Pluto and Neptune's case, this term means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is critical in preventing their orbits from crossing. Relibration, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is situated well above their orbital plane, providing an added layer of security from potential collisions. Another significant factor is the VZK oscillation, named after three scientists, Von Zeipel, Kozai, and Lidov, who studied how objects move in space. It describes how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on each other with their gravity. This gravitational force influences their movement. In Pluto's case, the VZK oscillation explains why its orbit around the Sun is so unusual. Despite its seemingly unpredictable path, this oscillation helps keep Pluto moving smoothly for billions of years. The VZK oscillation shows that although things in space might appear chaotic and random, certain patterns and forces maintain order. These factors help maintain Pluto's orbit, ensuring it doesn't collide with Neptune or get lost. This three-body problem is crucial for understanding how orbits change due to gravitational interactions. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and distant stars and planets. Numerical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite these stabilizing properties, Pluto's orbit is inherently chaotic, with slight deviations in initial conditions leading to significant changes over time. However, these seemingly unstable properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over incredibly long time scales, keeping chaos in check. Recent computer models have helped us understand how giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's path around the Sun Neptune has a special relationship with Pluto. For every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This resonance stabilizes Pluto's orbit. Yet, Neptune isn't the only factor. Jupiter's gravity also plays a significant role in safeguarding Pluto's orbit, and Saturn contributes as well. 
These studies show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to ensure Pluto stays on a stable path for an extended period, potentially even billions of years. It's as if Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues moving safely in space without causing disruptions. These peculiarities are essential in the larger context of the universe, maintaining order and stability in the motion of celestial bodies. Without these dynamics, the solar system as we know it would be far more chaotic, with bodies like Pluto potentially colliding with others or being ejected from their stable orbits, causing a cascading effect on other celestial objects. For Pluto, particularly in discussions about its potential interaction with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. This provides us with a clearer picture of the solar system's dynamic nature. Pluto's position demonstrates that even the most seemingly unstable orbits can reach a state of equilibrium through the intricate interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of continued observation and study of these peculiarities to better understand our place in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often forces us to confront the strange nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is a perfect example of this phenomenon. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the delicate dependence of a body's path on its initial conditions, is clearly illustrated in Pluto's case. This means that even slight changes in Pluto's position or velocity can drastically alter its long-term trajectory. Within the vast region of our solar system, Pluto occupies a unique place that challenges our understanding of planetary classification and dynamics. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has undergone extensive study, leading to significant discoveries about its composition and behavior. One of the most fascinating aspects of Pluto is its surface, which is a complex tapestry of ice, rock, and various compounds. The New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto in July 2015, provided stunning data about this distant world. Pluto's surface is characterized by vast plains, towering mountains, and deep valleys. One of the most striking features is Sputnik Planitia, a massive heart-shaped plain primarily made of nitrogen ice. This region showcases a diverse array of landforms, including massive ice blocks and what appear to be flowing glaciers. The presence of these features suggests that Pluto may still be geologically active, despite its great distance from the Sun and low temperatures. Sun in its elongated orbit. As Pluto approaches the Sun in its elongated orbit, the increased solar radiation causes its surface ice to sublimate into gas, expanding its thin atmosphere. However, as Pluto moves farther away from the Sun, its atmosphere can collapse, freezing back onto the surface. This cyclical behavior highlights the dynamic and ever-changing nature of Pluto's environment, despite its extreme distance and frigid temperatures. Beyond Pluto's atmosphere, its interaction with its largest moon, Charon, also reveals fascinating details about this dwarf planet. Pluto and Charon are tidally locked, meaning they always face each other as they orbit a common center of gravity, which lies outside Pluto itself. This unique relationship makes Pluto and Charon appear more like a binary system than a traditional planet-moon pair. Charon's surface, much like Pluto's, shows a mix of icy plains, canyons, and possible signs of past geological activity. Adding to the intrigue are Pluto's smaller moons, Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra, which orbit in chaotic and unpredictable ways. These moons, discovered through advanced telescopes and space missions, spin rapidly and tumble unpredictably, likely due to Pluto and Charon's combined gravitational influence. This chaotic behavior further emphasizes the complexity of the Pluto system. The role of Pluto in understanding the Kuiper Belt. Pluto is a key member of the Kuiper Belt, a vast region beyond Neptune that contains countless icy objects, comets, and dwarf planets. The Kuiper Belt is often referred to as a fossilized remnant of the early solar system, as its objects are relatively unchanged since the solar system's formation. Studying Pluto and other Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs, give scientists valuable insights into the origins and evolution of our planetary system. Pluto's discovery in 1930 paved the way for identifying other distant objects in the Kuiper Belt, leading astronomers to redefine how we classify planets. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union IAU, reclassified Pluto as a dwarf planet, primarily because it does not clear its orbit of other debris. This decision remains controversial and continues to spark debates among scientists and the public about what constitutes a planet. Pluto's place in the future of space exploration. 
The New Horizons mission, which provided humanity with its first close-up images of Pluto, marked a significant milestone in space exploration. The mission revealed Pluto's unexpectedly diverse geology and complex atmosphere, transforming our understanding of this distant world. New Horizons also demonstrated the incredible technological capabilities needed to explore objects so far from Earth. Future missions to Pluto and the Kuiper Belt are already being discussed, as scientists aim to explore its subsurface layers, search for potential subsurface oceans, and analyze its atmosphere in greater detail. These missions could provide further evidence of geological activity or even conditions that might support life, albeit in extreme forms. Conclusion Pluto, once considered the ninth planet of our solar system, remains one of the most intriguing and mysterious celestial bodies. Its chaotic yet stable orbit, dynamic atmosphere, and diverse surface make it a subject of endless fascination for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. Pluto's story challenges our understanding of planetary dynamics, gravitational forces, and the evolution of the solar system. As we continue to observe and study Pluto and other Kuiper Belt objects, we are reminded of the vast complexity and beauty of the universe. Pluto's unique characteristics serve as a testament to the intricate forces that govern the cosmos and inspire us to push the boundaries of space exploration to uncover the secrets of our solar system's distant frontiers. More powerful, this conduct mirrors the complicated collaboration between Pluto and its climate during Pluto's nearest approach to the Sun. A portion of the atmospheric gases might freeze out onto the surface, while, as it moves farther away, these gases can sublimate once more into the air. The connection between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, also adds complexity to the system. Charon is relatively large compared to Pluto, with a diameter about 50% that of Pluto itself. This size ratio means that the two bodies orbit a point in space that lies between them, as opposed to Pluto simply orbiting Charon. This unique relationship adds to the gravitational dynamics of the region, influencing the orbits of other objects in the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune populated by small icy bodies, is home to many other dwarf planets and potential impactors. This belt is a repository of ancient material from the early solar system, offering scientists a glimpse into its development. Pluto's orbital characteristics might provide insights into the formation patterns of these distant objects, suggesting that interactions with larger planets may have played a key role in shaping their current orbits. One of the critical implications of understanding Pluto's orbital mechanics is its potential impact on our understanding of the solar system's evolution. Gravitational effects from neighboring giant planets like Jupiter and Neptune can alter the trajectories of smaller bodies, including those in the Kuiper Belt. Such interactions can lead to changes in orbits, potentially causing collisions or ejections from the solar system. As researchers continue to study these interactions, they may uncover broader patterns that govern the behavior of celestial bodies across the universe. The exploration of Pluto also raises philosophical questions about classification in astronomy. The decision to rename Pluto as a dwarf planet in 2006 sparked debates about what defines a planet. The International Astronomical Union's definition focused on principles such as orbital dominance and size, leaving many to consider the implications of such classifications. This ongoing discussion reflects our evolving understanding of the universe and highlights the need for a flexible approach to categorizing celestial bodies. Moreover, the potential for future exploration of Pluto and the Kuiper Belt remains an exciting frontier. With advances in technology and mission planning, scientists are considering sending additional spacecraft to study Pluto as well as other objects with similar orbital characteristics. Such missions could provide valuable information about the primordial materials that shaped our solar system, potentially shedding light on the origins of life on Earth. The role of exoplanets, planets beyond our solar system, is another captivating area of study that intersects with our understanding of Pluto. As astronomers discover an increasing number of exoplanets, particularly those in the habitable zones of their stars, the lessons learned from studying our own solar system may help in developing theories about planetary formation and habitability. At last, public interest in Pluto has remained strong, fueled by its mysterious status and the stunning images returned by the New Horizons mission. The dwarf planet has captured the imagination of people worldwide, inspiring renewed appreciation for the vastness of space and our place within it. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of Pluto and the celestial bodies that share its corner of the universe, we are reminded of the remarkable wonders the cosmos has to offer.
Does Pluto's remarkable nature extend beyond its physical properties and orbit? It also serves as a crucial case study for understanding planetary development and the dynamics of celestial bodies. Pluto's evolution is believed to have occurred in the early solar system alongside other Kuiper belt objects. Studying its structure can provide insights into the conditions that prevailed during the formative phases of the solar system, potentially shedding light on the development of Earth-like planets. Recent research suggests that Pluto might have a subsurface ocean, a discovery that could reshape our understanding of its geology and potentially support life. New Horizons data revealed that some regions of Pluto's surface, such as the icy mountains, might be made of water ice, which behaves differently from typical rock at low temperatures. This discovery invites further exploration into the possibility of liquid water existing beneath its frozen crust, raising intriguing questions about the potential for life even in such extreme conditions. Additionally, Pluto's relationship with its atmosphere can offer insights into atmospheric chemistry. The seasonal changes in its thin atmosphere provide a natural laboratory for studying atmospheric cycles on a planetary scale. Researchers are particularly interested in how the interaction between solar radiation and the surface can lead to complex weather patterns, similar to those observed on larger planets.